Cut the intro, cut the intro. Okay, it's been a while since I posted a video. New Year's, Christmas, let's just get to it. What's going on YouTube? Today I figured we'd go ahead and just jump right to it. Google dorking, Google hacking. So what is a search engine? So let's say one of them's Google. Google, there's there's various, of course, right? Um, Bing. So how is it that these work exactly? So I go on Google, type in Apple, and it brings back pages with Apple and links, images. How does it bring all that, right? So they actually use what's called a crawler. Now using a crawler is how they have all, all this information. But how does a crawler work? So here's a crawler, a just basic basic way of how, how it works. So you go in Google and you search jacket. Now it goes, <clears throat> uses the crawler and searches for jacket. Now, when it's going to search for the jacket, it literally searches that keyword jacket. Doesn't matter what if I, images, a URL, a web page, um, anything that it can find that says the word jacket in it. So let's say it came up with uh, Walmart.com. Walmart and let's say Target. Both, of course, um, so I don't have to write it twice. Dot com. And here, search of these sites, keywords. And I know I said jacket and a keyword, and I'll explain keywords, plural, here in a second. So it grabs that, sends it over. And now what it has is a uh, jacket, right? Uh, the websites. <clears throat> and let's say images. So it search the websites, images, all that. Pull the keywords, make sure, A, hey, I have this. Okay, it's jacket. Now it has all that information. It's all that information. Boom, sends it right back to you. Your web page pops up and it has the jacket, the websites, the images, all having to do with jacket. Now, when I said, you know, I'll bring this back up, um, keywords, plural, right? So you gotta ask yourself, but if it's only search and jacket, why is it there's so much like associated information as well? Why if it says jacket, there might be a little bit of a like a glove or mittens. And these two will be run through websites and images and URLs, just like it did for jacket. Literally the same exact way. So it'll just run that all over again. Now, this is how the search engines become so mass and full of information. All right, so now that you know what a search engine is and a crawler and how they work, I figured now we'd go ahead and jump into what Google hacking is and Google dorking. What we're going to be doing is optimizing our searches. We're going to use operators from Google and specify key things that we want to find out that by typing in normally, we wouldn't be able to find. So here I have a few operators that I found. There's definitely a, a lot of them. I just have a few. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use them. And I will be linking these on the bottom of the video. I will link them at the bottom, as well as a SANS cheat sheet for Google hacking and defense. Here I grabbed a few logical operators that you could use to optimize your searches. The and, the not, the or, and those are essentially exactly what, what the words are. You could type in something and something else, or 
something not the next word and it'd be like whatever it is that you're searching and it takes off the next word so I'm going to just talk about a specific few here there's a few advanced operators and basically what I did was I went ahead and played around with them essentially what you should do and try to figure out things you can find that you would n have never thought you could so me playing around I found a few things to say the least so here I used a few advanced operators and just poking around I use all in text and I put in username as well as a f I used file type for a text file and as you can see I click on the first one and boom top top left admin username password so let's click on something else okay here we go that shows you how to crack a username or password maybe so now I used in title and in URL as part of the advanced operators but I'm putting in or searching in title I'm putting quotation marks in right to specify essentially this is exactly what I'm looking for so index of then I put in URL FTP so in the URL I'm looking for FTP and then index of so essentially I'm just gonna get an FTP site with a directory now I'm not gonna click on this right as you see on the top nasa.gov as a URL I'm not trying to get in trouble so we'll just go ahead and keep moving forward here so let me click on something else let's say westmont.edu boom an FTP site with a directory so there's definitely a bunch of stuff I can go through and search what else we got here you see there's more text files who knows what's on them well, I'm just going through this really quick I don't want to search too much here so next operators I'm using I'm going to use file type which I'm going to put in log because I, I want to search for a log why not search an SSH log like using putty so I put file type log space username slash putty so I'm gonna search anything username but bring me back a log so I'll click on the first one you can see a username I'm not gonna point it out and so here's another session here you can see some configure SNMP and you know create their string and you can actually see you know the actual actual session here so after that I did do some research on this part what I did was I looked up to see if, since I can see an SSH session, could I possibly find a key and actually Google that. I know, crazy enough, right? Uh, I Googled it, did a little research, and found how to search for an SSH, for SSH keys. So I used the operator in title and I searched index of ID underscore RSA RSA the key and then well I have it at the top you see and so essentially I typed it I was like okay let's see what we can find hmm nothing okay uh, what's next and boom here RSA so here's a private key crazy that it's just like hanging out on the internet somebody's actual private key for the session and here I click on another one IDRSA you saw it there as well um, I'm just gonna keep moving forward here and then here I use two different ones file type XLS which is for Excel documents in URL I used email dot XLS for the same thing but I use quotation marks to specify this is exactly and only like what I want for the file type. Let's click on the first one, email.xls. Crazy enough, names and email addresses. I 
we'll just keep moving very quickly. I don't really care about this. This is just learning purposes to seeing how much I can, how much information I can find. I continue doing research, and I, what I found was there's devices that, depending on how you look for them, you can find as well. Just with a Google operator, you'd have to go through like a site to go look for, you know, like Shodan or Shodan, however it is that you want to name it. Um, look for IoT devices, right? Security cameras and such. You can actually use Google operators, Google hacking, to find to find them as well. So what I did was, uh, this part I didn't record, but I found and searched, I, I searched and found a weather device. So here you can see, this is public facing. I, like, I, I just searched, I found it, boom. Uh, loaded it, and as you can see, temperature, uh, wind, and then there's a graph. As you can see on top right, there's graph, records, units, webcam. I clicked on webcam, just because just I'm curious. Didn't do anything. Very interesting, you know, that is that is out here. Okay, so we went over several things. Um, what's a search engine, what a crawler, and how they both work. We went over Google operators, logical advanced, and I showed you a few instances of how to use them. Now, there's so many more you can use and in different ways and different ways to specify them, right? So I just gave you a quick rundown and sorry if I was maybe going a little too quick through showing the operators, but there is some information, you know, I didn't want to get in trouble for. Because there was um, some information that was, I just wanted to skip, skim through it really quickly. But definitely, you guys go ahead, practice. Uh, don't forget at the bottom, I'm going to add um, a few URLs to get m even more informed and give you, give you more operators to work with, as well as that SANS uh, cheat sheet for Google Hacking. See you guys next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe.